Bonjour, this is a, a message for my Dama brothers and sisters. Uh, it's been about a week, I guess, since we all got back from the retreat. And I wanted to make a little video for everybody um, talking about my experience uh, after coming home. And uh, to hopefully encourage us all to keep us, keep our practice up and... Uh, and continue on the, the eightfold path because, like Goenka said, um, we took a tiny step together. Uh, really, not together. It was it was our own step, but we were there together. And uh, and the thing I noticed immediately when I got home was um, how much harder it was to uh, maybe not the first day. But uh, as I started missing meditations, as I'm sure you all have, um, it, it became harder and harder. And, and to watch the mind sort of ramp back up uh, from being so much more quiet than it was before uh, going. And to uh, see how that works. Um, the one thing I have been doing is uh, doing some Anapana first. I know that was part of the instruction anyhow. Um, but like, for example, today I did, this morning I did uh, two hours of meditation. I did one hour of Anapana. No, sorry, I only did an hour and a half. One hour of Anapana and a half an hour of uh, Vipassana. And just, you know, uh, I've, I've been sort of using the Anapana as a gauge to how um, how deep I am in my subconscious. However, I'm also learning that, you know, so I've been sort of, um, you know, waiting until I get the, the real deeper sensation. I'm not sure what anybody's experience was like, but I could like feel like the hair is inside of my nose and like energy. And it was really interesting. And uh, I can get back to that place. It's, it's, it's a, a little more challenging for sure. Um, so I've been using the Anapana to tell when I'm ready to do Vipassana. However, I've also noticed that sometimes um, just sitting and doing Anapana and, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting, um, uh, sometimes the mind just won't get uh, super duper still. So sometimes starting the scanning, the Vipassana scanning, is what it takes. And uh, it's a different type of focusing. And, and sometimes just getting getting into that uh, more quickly um, really is helping me to... Uh, deep in my practice. And the other thing I noticed is I, I've, uh, I don't think there's been a day that I've not meditated. There might have been one. Super busy, but, um, but I've mostly been doing one hour a day and uh, I'm sort of back on my two hours now. Although I didn't do it last night, so. <laughs> um, but uh, the thing I'm noticing is when I get my one hour in the morning and then when I come back, later in the day or at night, and I get my second one in, the second one is where I got the sensitivity like I was at the retreat. So I'm finding it's really, really important that we do the uh, two hours a day, um, like Goenka says, and really make that hard uh, determination to stick with it. And, um, and the other thing is, I, I don't know about you guys, but uh, the meta is like, Meta is, uh, to me, it's the most rewarding part of the whole thing. Um, and it's really great. I'm so happy that we learned that, even though I was kind of doing it before. But when you can get to the point where you can feel, you know, deeper and uh, these these uh, vibrations or whatever, whether you feel it or not, um, you feel you feel good, you know. And, uh, and then you offer yourself, you know, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be peaceful, may I be safe, may I be liberated, may I be free from all defilements and impurities and anger and hatred and animosity and greed and lust and jealousy, uh, you know, may I know the, the one true infinite love that is all, uh, may I be liberated, um, and then you offer that to all beings, near or far, big or small, and human or non-human, um, and you you 
invite yourself to generate love. Um, I mean, just talking about doing meta uh, is, is amazing. So, don't talk about it, though. Do it. Anyways, um, so, I know how hard it can be for some people uh, who work a lot, got kids or something, but I really want to uh, encourage everybody to try to do the the, uh, the hour twice a day because it does take time to do this. And if we really want to make progress along our spiritual path and really, really dig deep in, and, uh, and, and uh, uncover these defilements and these sankaras and see them and really feel on this deep level, it's going to take work. So I just wanted to uh, take a few minutes and encourage everybody to keep up their practice and I, I you know, you want to make a video for me or send me an email or something or whatever let me know how you're doing uh, I was really honored to be there with all of you and uh, made some some uh, new friendships and uh, that I'm sure will continue throughout my life and uh, anyways love you guys check me out on YouTube too if you want you I make videos all the time on YouTube YouTube.com slash Amitab Elliot. It's A-M-I-T-A-B-H-A-E-L-L-I-O-T-T. -T. I love you. Bye-bye.